So let's go ahead and get started at the top of our mat in standing mountain pose. So taking your feet as wide as your mat, or as wide as your hips rather, and drawing your shoulders back down and away. And let's just take a big deep breath up. Reach your arms up to the sky and then take it over to the right side. Ah, big stretch up, look up past the ceiling towards the sky if you're not outside. And then over to the right, take the right hand down, like a little bit open here. Really feel that left side body open. And then back to the top, interlace your fingers, come back just a little bit, little back bend here. You can even tuck your chin or you can let your head fall back. And then over to the left, and then release the left hand and breathe. And let's come back to center again. Hands behind your head and fall back open. Mm. And then standing mountain pose. Feet step together. Suri Namaskar, a sun salutation. Inhale, reach to the sky. And exhale, fold forward, flat back, bend the knees. Inhale, lengthen halfway, look out. Walk, step, jump, or float to plank. Together, let's lower down, hovering halfway or all the way to the belly, upward facing dog or cobra, and exhale back. Downward facing dog, feet or hip distance apart. Melt the chest back to the sides with a long spine. Take nice, long, slow breaths here. And then look up to the top of your mat. Walk, step, jump, or float. Inhale, lengthen halfway out. Exhale and fold. Inhale, rise again with a back bend. And then hands back to heart center. Inhale, reach. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Walk, step, jump, or float. Upward facing dog or cobra. And exhale, press back. Downward facing dog. This time, let's take the right leg up to the sky. Open up hip on hip. Elevate up on the toe and make some space. Bring the right knee to your chest. Bring the right knee to your nose. Press the floor away, bring the right knee to your forehead, step the foot in between your hands, low lunge, left hand down, right hand to sky, twist, and let's go ahead and take some circles. Hi, Patrice. Beautiful. Roll to the outside edges of one or both feet and really let the hips drop here. Feel that nice stretch on the outside edge of the left and reach up and away towards the right. Really nice opening here. We're gonna take a wide stance fold. Both hands come inside the right foot. Wide angle, fold. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold. Bend into the left and the right and really feel that opening also. Come back around to lunge. Step back to plank. Go ahead and take three to five push-ups here. You can take your knees down if you need to. One, two, three, four, five. Downward facing dog, left leg up to the sky. Open up and find space. Really nice. Bring knee to nose, knee to chest, knee to forehead, press the floor away, low lunge. Right hand down, left hand up, twist. Make some space and then roll to the outside edge of both feet if you can. Find lots of space in the side body. And notice where the breath is, bring it to the belly, in through the nose, out through the nose. Both hands come down, wide stance, fold. 
Inhale, lengthen, bend your knees if you need to. See if you can get the crown towards the earth. Again, bending into opposites if that feels good. And then turning back around to the front of your mat, step back to plank again. Three to five more push-ups. Take the knees down if you need to. It's gonna be a long class. Downward facing dog. Right leg reaches the sky again. This time, knee to nose, knee to forehead, step through, low lunge. This time, we're gonna rise up, crescent high lunge. Beautiful, hands to heart center. Stay here or tap the back knee times three. One, two, say hello to your glutes, three. Hands reach up and crescent lunge. Breathe, come forward halfway, and now float your back leg, balancing pose, warrior three. Hands to heart, hands to stick, or hands out. And breathe, nice. Let's hold this for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, back to crescent high lunge. Halfway down again, all the way down, plank pose, right hand moves to center, side plank, yogi's choice, scissors stack or lift the top leg. Make sure to breathe. Plank again. Vinyasa one time, hover or hold. Up dog or cobra. Exhale, press, downward face. Left leg reaches. Knee to nose, knee to forehead, step through, low lunge. Organize, low lunge, find crescent high lunge. Heart center, tap three, one, two, three, reach. Stay low in the front knee, beautiful ladies. Warrior three, take a different arm variation. So take the arms out or maybe back this time and lean into the posture. For 10, nine, Eight, try to score the hips and shoulders. Six, five, four, energy in the back toes. Two, crescent again, high lunge with control. Halfway hover. Release to touch, step back with the foot, side plank, left side. Yogi's choice. Remember, you can always take the knee down for less or take the foot up for more. Plank again, lower down, hover, up dog or cobra, and exhale, press, downward facing dog. Walk your hands back to your feet, back of your mat. Hang in a forward fold. Sway a little bit. And then roll up to stand. Reach the hands to sky. Heart center, step the feet together, right knee to chest. Pick the foot to me and reach the hands to sky. Lift it a little bit higher. Nice. Knee comes back in, tree pose, right side. Arms any variation you like.
change the arms one time now. Do something a little different. Bring knee back to chest. Kick right back out. Step halfway up your mat, both hands together, both feet together. Left side, knee to chest. Kick the foot to me. Lift it a little higher. A little higher still. Arms come up. Tree pose, left side. Two different arm variations. Knee to chest, foot to me, step to the top of your mat, sit back, chair pose, with the toss them up. Nice. Come halfway forward up on the tiptoes and go ahead and reach the arms behind you like you're downhill skiing. Lift up even higher like you're wearing the highest heels you can possibly wear on your feet. And then forward fold or crow pose, top of your mat. Walk, step, jump, or float to the back. For vinyasa, meet me and downward facing dog. Beautiful yogis. Right leg up to the sky. Step it through warrior two cartwheel open. Pumping warrior three times. Inhale, reach. And down. And reach and down and reach and warrior two reach the hand out to me and now exalt stay low in that front knee float your back hand keep bending into that front knee Warrior two, side angle or half moon you choose. Side angle's here, half moon we float. Let's find warrior two again. Finish with that pumping warrior three times again. So inhale, reach, and right back in for one, and two, and three. Cartwheel the hands down, step back to plank. Three to five push-ups, or no push-ups at all, yogi's choice. Meet me in downward face. Left leg reaches for the sky. Step through warrior two. Pump warrior three times. One. Two. Three. Flip your palm and offer. Stay low in this knee, exalt, and float your back hand. And breathe, opening the chest, the heart, the hips. Warrior two again, side angle or half moon. Here's side angle, half moon we float the hand down, leg high. Breathe, lifting that back leg up higher than you think you need to. Finding the breath and finding warrior two again. Pump three times.
cartwheel the hands down. Step back to plank. Holding plank for a 10 count. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Press back down dog. Now take vinyasa. Walk your hands back to your feet, back of your mat. Slowly roll to stand. Hands up. Feet together, hands together. Balancing pose, eagle posture, right knee to chest. Lift it higher than you think you need to. You're gonna pull it across and wrap. Hold on if you need to, keep the hips square if you can. Arms can come out to a T. Hands can come to heart, or we can eagle wrap the arms right under left, and then sink down. Beautiful, breathe. Stay with me, we're gonna take eagle to dancing Shiva. We're gonna unwrap the leg, arms to a T, left hand around outside of the knee, or around the foot, dancing Shiva. Stay with it. Sit up tall. Look over your back hand if you can. If you come out, come right back. And now we're going to find that eagle wrap again. Nice and easy. Where's the breath, Yogi? Lift the arms up, sink low. Unwind, hands behind your feet as wide as your mat. Forward fold with bent knees or straight legs. And then all the way up again, step hands and feet together, heart center. You will wrap the left side, left knee comes up. Cross it over, wrap it around. Arms come out. Left under right, eagle wrap. You can tap the foot or hold on here or leave the arms out or at prayer. So this is fine. Sink low. Unwrap the arms. Unwrap the legs, right hand around the outside edge of the left knee or the left foot. Dancing Shiva. Look over the front or back hand, whatever feels more natural for you. The back hand is a challenge. We're going to rewrap eagle. And breathe. Release hands and feet. Forward fold over those legs. Come to squat right here or seated on your mat. Nice. If this doesn't work, sit on a block or sit on your bottom. We're going to exalt the arm. So tuck this left shoulder towards the knee, hand to the earth. Right hand reaches for exalting. If you take a bind, half or full, you can go ahead and take that. And if you have a bird of paradise, you can take that too. So again, if this doesn't work for any reason, have a seat on your bottom, feet together, knees apart. Beautiful. And then we'll come back to center heart. If you do have crow pose in your practice, go ahead and take it now. And if not, you can again sit down and take a hip opener here, bound angle, and tuck your chin. So yogi's choice on what you want to do. If you're in the crow, maybe hold it for 10, 9, 
eight, seven. Try to straighten your arms, five, four, three, two, back to squat. Right hand snuggles underneath and reaches for the sky with the other hand. And breathe. Remember, if for any reason this doesn't work, you sit. And if it doesn't feel good with knees open like this, you take them straight and take a forward fold. So lots of choices. We're gonna meet standing at the back of your mat, however you like to get there. I'm gonna plie right up, back of your mat. Inhale, reach to the sky. Exhale, fold to the earth. Walk it out, plank pose. Lower down, hover. Upward facing dog or cobra. And exhale, press. Downward facing dog, right leg reaches for the sky, open hip on hip. If you flip your dog, flip your dog. If you don't, just enjoy the space here. And if you flip, you might want to find full wheel back bend or any other variation. When we unwind the right leg reaches, steps through warrior two, we've been here before. Cartwheel open. This time straighten out your front leg. Arms to a T. Reach. Triangle pose, trikonasana. Yogis find the breath here. Notice where it is. Center and exalt, reach up, 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 and back. Coming to either a second triangle or another half moon. This time, see if you can float the half moon. If you're not taking it, take a second triangle, maybe float the triangle like this. If you're floating the half moon, you're going to take the hand so that it doesn't touch the earth, but hovers right off the earth. Maybe even taking prayer hands. Breathe. Keep breathing. Wherever you are, we're going to find warrior two to finish. And we cartwheel down, lizard lunge, both hands inside the right foot, and go ahead and walk it out to the edge. Take the back knee down, maybe take a quad stretch, maybe take an arm balance. So Yogi's Choice here also. So wherever you are, try to land with your elbows down and forearms. Option for headstand here if you take that practice. And then we're going to find forearm planks. So step the right foot back to forearm planks. And then bring the chin past the fist. Hold the hands and fists. Bring the chin forward and back for 10, 9, Keep the belly strong. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Dolphin down dog. You're on your forearms, downward facing dog. If you take a forearm balance here, go ahead and take it. And if not, find down dog. Hands down, down dog. Left leg reaches for the sky, open hip on hip. Flip the dog if you flip. Full wheel if you take it. Or any variation. We unwind. Left side warrior two, briefly. 
step through cartwheel. Open. Straighten out the front leg. Reach. Triangle pose. Eye gaze can be up or down, whatever's more comfortable for you. And then we exalt triangle, reach up and back. You can even float the back hand or take another variation. Second triangle or hover or half moon float. Find warrior two, approach slowly. Cartwheel the hands down, lizard lunge. Inside the left foot, take the back knee down, take a quad stretch or any other variation that you take. Try to come down to your elbows if you can. And then we'll step back to elbow planks. This time we're just gonna take circles to the right for five, four, three, two, and then to the left, five, four, three, two, down dog dolphin. Hands to the earth, downward facing dog. Oops. Come forward to plank, three to five push ups. Downward facing dog. Right leg reaches for the sky. Step through low lunge. Spin your back heel. Rise up warrior one. Straighten out your front leg. Come halfway forward. Left hand reaches, right hand behind. Left hand down, right hand up, twisted triangle. Breathe. Head to knee pose, both hands frame the right foot. Square the hips. Chin to chest, chest to thigh. Couple options here, yogis. Either full split on the floor, half split on the floor, or standing split in the sky. I'm gonna take a half split on the floor. You take whatever works for you. Coming back to where we started in Warrior One, however you need to get there, get there. Practice the arms. Reach the hands behind you and open up the chest and the heart. Lift up the head toward the sky. Sing here. Lift the arms off your back. Lean forward, Warrior Three, holding on behind you either clasping the hands or grabbing opposite elbows. 
Maybe even you want to grab the foot for a quad stretch. It's an option. And then we're going to bring that right knee to chest, hands to sky. Tree pose again, this time on the left side. Step down, inhale up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Walk back, high plank. Either press back to down dog or take vinyasa or push-ups, your choice. Left side, warrior one. Rise up. Straighten the front leg. Right hand forward, left hand back. Twisted triangle. If you need to step the back foot closer, do that. Eye gaze up or down. Both hands frame the front leg, head to knee pose. Stay here or take standing split, half splits, or full splits. Again, Yogi's choice on that. going to come back to warrior one where you started. Beautiful. Cactus the arms. Sink into front knee. Reach the hands behind you. Open up the chest and the heart. And now lean forward. Lift the hands up off your back and float warrior three variation. Keep looking forward and away. Little up dog in your chest. Hands to sky, knee up, tree pose. Keep opening out that knee, it's a hip opener, really nice. And then we step down, inhale up. Exhale, fold forward again. Bend your knees, come down to low squat, toes, knees, and heels together, hands to heart center. Toe stand, knees apart, feet together. Either hold on to the earth or hands to the sky. We're going to find seated bound angle together, so have a seat, feet together, knees apart. Inhale, lengthen, and then exhale, fold forward. Go ahead and give it a hug in, egg pose. Coming to boat pose for some ab work, I'm going to turn to the side. I'm pretty sure you can see me. If not, just listen to the voice. Boat pose, both legs up, hold on if you need to. And if you can, lift your hands up.
we're going to take Russian twist, so hands to come to heart to prayer, and then down to, you can bend the knees or leave them straight, lift them up if you'd like, so go ahead and do 10 on each side. And then hug it in. Go ahead and lay down on your back. Reclining pigeon, right over left. Go ahead and lay down. Draw it in close. And go ahead and take 20 more crunches here. Pull it in and then crunch. Uppers and lowers. After twenty. Take your legs to the right, and another 20 oblique crunches here, go ahead. One, straight up, shoulders off the ground, chin off the chest. From that 10, Take them over to the left. Another 20. Go. Hug it in and let's come back to seated. Ugh. Straddle, wide legs, forward fold. And while you're here, if you'd like, you can take some side stretches as well. crunches on that side. We're going to do another 80 on this side, okay? Hug it in. Left over right, reclining pigeon. Oh no, that was 60 on each side. Sorry. Go ahead and take 20 here. One, two. Uppers and lowers. it up at the top and hold. Then take them to the left. Oblique crunches on the left side for 20. Shoulders up, chin off the chest. No cheating. After 20, take them to the right, and last 20 on this side, go. Don't pull on your neck. Shoulders up, I know you're getting tired. Let's hug them in. Ah. One more boat pose with Russian twists. Ten on each side. You can do it, okay? I know you're going to feel this tomorrow, but you're going to thank me.
I don't know when, but we might. Legs up, arms up, Russian twists on each side, 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 on each side, so another 10. Come on, Robin. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Okay, hug it in. Okay, hug it in. Yogis, if there's anything else you need to finish your practice, plow shoulder stand, or maybe a spinal twist, take whatever it is you might need right now. Maybe it's happy baby or straddle. And then we're gonna find our final posture, Shavasana, coming into our final meditation. So go ahead and take a few minutes to finish up with whatever it is you need. Take a back bend or an inversion here. And then when you're ready to find your final posture, Shavasana, either lay down on your back or your right side. Close your eyes, curl your knees into your chest if you're on your side. If not, just lay on your back. If you're more comfortable seated, you can stay seated. But let's try to close your eyes and relax the muscles of your face and your jaw. Allow the breath just to come back to its normal rhythm, feeling everything settle back down in its place, and coming to your breath. Notice what thoughts come into your mind and let them go. Feel your heart rate start to slow down back to its normal rhythm. Unclench your teeth and your jaw. Let your eyelids be soft. As you lay here in your final posture, taking a moment for gratitude now. Allowing the smallest pieces of gratitude and the biggest things you can think of to bubble up in your mind's eye. I invite you to come to a place of gratitude as often as you can possibly do that. Even in the most difficult situations, trying to find the peace to be thankful for. Yogis, I invite you to come to your breath anytime you feel just that first hint of stress or anxiety start to creep in. I invite you to come to your breath always and often. I invite you to give grace to those around you in their humanity.
we are all perfectly imperfect in our own way. Thank you so much for coming to practice with me today. Until our paths cross again, I wish you peace, love, light, health, and abundance. Om Shanti 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 Nam. Yogis, you can stay in Shavasana as long as you'd like or finish practice right now.